Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a gold material in Blender 2.79. Now, I have already got my output and I will show you how to create this kind of a gold material which will also uh, reflect some glitter from it. So let's get started. I have created a very simple model that is uh, nothing special about it because I have just extruded the individual faces of a particular uh, sphere. So I'm not going to get into the modeling stuff here. I'll just only concentrate on the material setup. So just change this view to the node editor and you can see I have created a very simple node which is actually having a principal BSDF material. Though I have taken glossy BSDF over here, I'm not going to use it because uh, principal BSDF is introduced in 2.79 and this is a very uh, very effective very easy to use and also uh, I will show you uh, what is the difference between using glossy BSDF and principal BSDF in this particular case you can actually create the uh, same same almost similar kind of a, uh, output uh, with glossy BSDF but I will show you what is the reason that I have chosen principal BSDF instead of the glossy BSDF okay so <clears throat> first of all what you have to do is I have to take a principal BSDF material by go to add shader principal BSDF yeah, you can do the same thing by pressing shift A and select it from the menu now if you connect the BSDF output to the shader you can see by default it's white because the color is white so I need to change my color to the desired one which is almost orange yellow and you just need to pump up the material value met, sorry metallic value pardon me metallic value to highest level and immediately you can see that has been created a uh, a very metallic which is resemblance to the gold but there is a small catch I have already been used an HDRI image in my environment so you have to go to the world and you have to select an image the HDR as the HDR image uh, to create the environment so this is very important if you don't use this one if you if you don't use this one then the reflection value will not have been calculated and it will be uh, completely different if I close sorry if I close this one you can see the differences now <coughs> you just pump up the metallic value to one and immediately you will see the uh, the result has been came out you don't have to worry about the any other uh, values into into the uh, principal VSD material now what about the glitters now glitters are very much very very important for that I need to go to the uh, compositing node so in the compositing node what I have already done it is also fairly simple because I have only introduced a glare uh, node in between them so I'm just deleting this one and I have taken two nodes one is the viewer and one is the composite node so that I can see my result from uh, in this within this window itself so press shift a and I will take a where is that sorry render layers because this will actually collect the data from the uh, from the render now after that I need to use Go to the filter and use a glare node now this is very interesting one just put just connect the image to image and output to the viewer now what viewer used to do is it used to show you the output and you have to turn on the backdrop from here so both of them will actually show you the final output which is coming over here now here I have to uh, play with the threshold level also so and for the final output on the uh, 
render you have to connect uh, the glare to the composite because without the composite without connecting the composite you won't see the uh, the final render uh, with the glare you only see it over here so that's why we need the composite node and we have to connect it with the glare so now the glare is still hasn't been worked because my threshold value is very high we have to pump down the threshold values now you can see I have reduced my threshold value and immediately you can see yes I think 0.15 will be the idle one yes 0.15 or 16 will be the idle one for this particular uh, model but remember this is not a hard and fast rule that you have to put the threshold value to uh, 0.15 it will depend on the pixel values which is coming near to the white and from the, those pixel values these glare glares are actually coming out now the iterations you can increase and immediately you can see you are actually you know uh, clamping down the the values so if your iteration level is less you can actually uh, increase the uh, <coughs> um, the intensity of the glares now streaks is very important because this is where you need to you can actually play with the rotations or the numbers of the uh, number of the glares that you are getting i will prefer it for five and angle offset i can rotate and you can see immediately the uh, the glares are actually been rotated and uh, you can settle down with uh, whatever uh, degrees you want now fade is very important because if you don't use fade the streaks are actually coming out very hard so you have to reduce the number of fades uh, as long as they don't you know uh, messed with the entire scene or maybe with the uh, the model so you have to be very careful about this one also so these are the overall uh, overall idea to get the final result or final output now <coughs> I should show you why I have taken the principal BSDF instead of uh, you know uh, uh, taking the glossy BSDF for that I'll just like to divide this window and I'll pick I'll put that uh, my output window over here uh, sorry the composite window over here and my material window or the material editor over here so now if you see if I connect my glossy BSDF to the uh, to the material output here you will be able to see sorry you'll be able to see what is the difference between uh, the output now this is my principal BSDF output and now if I connect it with the glossy BSDF immediately you can see the level of detail got changed it's way lesser than the principal BSDF whereas principal BSDF if you connect with the principal BSDF immediately you can see the reflection of the surrounding areas and with each other is much more precisive than the glossy BSDF that's why I prefer the principal BSDF material for this particular output so uh, uh, yeah so this is all about the things and as I show you uh, that composite uh, thing that if I don't use this one and if I hit F12 you'll see in the composite uh, composite node I haven't connected uh, my output so that output from the clear that's why it is coming black whereas if I just press escape and if I connect it with the composite output also and then press F12 for render now you will see <coughs> when the render has been finished my glare has been shown so the final output which will coming that is coming from the composite node 
not from the viewers viewer is only viewer node is only for this particular composite uh, win for the composite window not for the final output so that's why the composite also very important for this one hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to our youtube channel and also follow us on facebook and twitter thank you very much